Hi, I'm Bill Trinan with Nintendo of America, and today I'm here to show you The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, developed exclusively for Wii and for Wii Motion Plus. This is the highly anticipated next installment in the Zelda series, and we're showing it off here at E3, so I'll be taking you through the E3 demo. The first thing that longtime Zelda fans are going to notice with Skyward Sword is that the game features an all-new graphical style. This time, really, the look that it's going for is that of a painting, almost. It's kind of come to life. What you see here is a good indication of the direction of the overall art style of the game, uh, but doesn't necessarily show how great it's going to look when the final game is released. So what this game does is it synchronizes your movements with Link's using Wii Motion Plus and the Nunchuck. With Wii Motion Plus, you have one-to-one -one sword control, and with Nunchuck, you'll shake the Nunchuck to raise your shield, and you can shake the Nunchuck again to do a shield bash. But the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword also uses Wii Motion Plus, not just for the sword itself, but for all of the items in the game as well. There's no pointing at the screen. All of the control is handled using Wii Motion Plus and moving it around in space for aiming. It feels really intuitive and very, very natural. The best thing, too, is you're able to switch items on the fly, again, using that Wii Motion Plus control. The Legend of Zelda has always been about using Link's sword, using his items to solve puzzles in the game, and it's been a long history of really trying to streamline this interface to allow the player to do as many different things as possible. Wii Motion Plus takes that and turns it into probably the most natural feeling Zelda experience that we've created so far. I hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek of the E3 version of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword.